Hi you guys, today's workout is a low impact workout. I haven't really done one of these yet, so I thought I would go ahead and put one into circulation, but you can always make it high impact or more of a strength workout. Um, you can slow it down to make it a little bit harder, play around with it, and let me know what you do and how you feel after you're done with it. It's gonna be 35 exercises. Um, after number 30, I'm gonna to have to reset my timer again, so there's gonna be a little bit of a pause there. Uh, and let's see, they're a minute long, and then there's a 20 second break. So again, this is like a nice low impact, but we're gonna go on for about 46, 47 minutes on this one. So um, maybe in that 20 seconds, you want to do some jumping jacks or high knees or something like that, just to make it more of an active rest rather than I get set up and ready to go. If you need to keep it low impact, then keep it low impact, okay? So some days we need these a little bit more than our strength and hit classes. So um, so keep this one close by. Okay, I'm not gonna go through each one of these. I'm gonna list it under, underneath the video. And again, um, I think today I have just a 15 pound weight. It's only one that I'll need, which is gonna be for a hanging bicep curl. And, um, and then when we do a side lunge with an overhead press. So just a simple one weight is all I'm gonna use and I'm gonna try to use the same one for the whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna start with slow squats first. So I'm assuming you've already warmed up. Okay, here we go. All right, feet are shoulder width apart. Toes are straight ahead, chest is up. All the way down all the way up. I really want you to take your time on these guys so that your knees aren't doing anything funny like flipping in and out like this at the bottom. That's an indicator of a little weakness in the hip area. Good. Down. So the lower you can get your bum, the more your bum is going to have to work. The more shallow you have your move here, the more quad dominant this exercise is going to be. So down deep as you can, listen to your knees, listen to your low back. You're under 20 seconds. Weight is shifted to your heels a little bit more than the balls of your feet. Good, down, up, squeeze. Big squeeze at the top. Three, two, one. Okay, let me shake that out a little bit. We're gonna to go to slow lunges, just alternating back and forth. So this could, you could consider this as part of your warm up still if you want to. Um, 10 more seconds. See, so yeah, I think I'll turn sideways on this one. So we're gonna keep our chest up, hinging just barely at the hips. So right leg, I'm starting with, I'm coming down, all the way up, squeeze. All the way down with my left, all the way back up. So because these are a minute long, I can give you a little bit more instruction, which is kind of nice. When you step back into your lunge, making sure that your knee, you can tap the floor. You don't need to rest down there. And I don't want you to take such a big step back that you're really stretched in that quad. You should be um, working the glute on this particular exercise. So if you wanted to make it more challenging, you hold some weights. You may press them up overhead at the top. You can jump them, but keeping it low impact, we're just stepping back, all the way up, squeeze. This is gonna do a lot, trust me. You're gonna feel this tomorrow, I'm sure of it. Four seconds. Last one. Okay, gonna go to kneeling push-ups. So, working our way into it. You're welcome if you are set and ready to go. You can go toes, great. You wanna go one knee, perfect. Just alternate your knees every maybe five or so. So come on down. Hands are about chest level. Your butt is in line with your shoulders all the way to your knees. Open the shoulders up, chest is up. And you're gonna let those elbows float back towards your waist. You don't want your elbows straight out to the sides like they're up in your ears. Down up and press. At the top, get a little bit of a squeeze in the back of your upper arms. Hands are just a titch wider than the shoulders. 
and hold your core nice and tight. Don't let your hips sag. Keep your plank the whole time. Shoulder blades down to the knees. We have a squat with the knee turned down in about eight more seconds. I'm going to show you that one before we begin. Three, do one more. Okay. All right, so we're coming up to standing on this one. I'm going to step, uh, try this on the mat. It may kind of bunch up a little bit, but you're going to be in a squat kind of wide, and then you're going to turn down and up, and then you're going to turn down. I'm going to go to the carpet because I can maneuver my feet. I can pivot my feet a little bit better. Okay, let's go into a squat, chest is up, so proper form here, turn your feet, knee tap, come back into your squat, turn, knee tap. So your feet, your ankles, your knees, and your hips are all working together on this guy. So if you need to stand, sit, turn, lunge, that's okay too. And figure out what works best for your body this is going to be a little bit more of a quad burner on this one. Nice going. Keeping the chest up. Keeping the bum down. Keeping your kneecaps behind your toes. 12 more seconds. We're back on our mat next. The slow push up. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Check that out. All right. We're going to do a slow push up. And at the top of the push up, we're going to go elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Slow push up. <clears throat> so come on down. I'm on my knees for this. So you guys can all see what that proper knee form looks like. I see it here all the time. All right. So nice and slow. Down. Three. Back up. And then elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Get set, down three, two, one, up three, two, one, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Down three, two, one, up three, two, one. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Three, two, one, three, two, one. One, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Keep going. This is where I don't want your butt sticking up in the air when you do your elbow, elbow. Okay? Make your core work. Three, two, one. Back up. Three, two, one. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Down three, two, one. Up three, two, one. Okay. All right. Let's go to standing pulse and squats. Three at the bottom, so one, two, three, and then we're gonna step forward, step back. One, two, three, step forward, step back. I'm gonna step this out of the way. No tripping. All right, forward squat. Three, two, one, right leg forward and back. These are little shorties. Three, two, left leg forward and back. I'm gonna turn sideways and show you. Three, two, one, a little forward, little back. Three, two, left leg, little forward, little back. Do what works best for you. Keep it low. Ooh, balance. Three, two, one, left leg, forward and back. Keep it down low. Three, two, one, right leg, forward, back. These are like mini lunges. Two, one left leg forward and back. Three, two, one, right forward and back. Three, two, one left leg forward and back. Okay, we're walking plank with a booty tap. So setting up your mat, you're gonna have your hand on your mat. You can walk with dumbbells if you want, if that bothers your wrist, it feels a little bit better. Holding on to dumbbells. Okay, here we go. Walking side side. Come on down into your plank on your hands. Walking side side. I'm having some issues. All right, so we walk, booty tap, booty tap. 
walk, booty, booty. One more time, walk, booty, booty, walk. Same side moves together. So this would be my left hand and foot working at the same time. One more time. The other way. About one second. Watch those hips, you guys. You should be able to put a glass of water on those hips, make sure that they're not tipping anywhere. Keep them level. Five more seconds. And last one. Okay, coming on up. That page flew away. We have right single leg inchworm with the side plank at the bottom. My right leg is going to be floating. So right leg up, forward fold, walk out, do your plank, turn on the side, back to your plank, and walk back in. All the way up to standing. If that's too much, leave your right tiptoe to the floor, but try not to put much weight on there. All the way back and up. You can bend that left leg forward, walk, plank, side. I'm on my foot, the side of my foot. Back to plank, walk it all the way back. Bend that knee forward, walk it out. Find your plank, turn, T-plank, back to the front and walk it back. All the way up, eight more seconds. Walk it out. Side plank. Nice job, okay. All right, we're on a right bicep hang. I'm gonna get to your left side in just a moment. Right side with the dumbbell and the hand palm away from you. <clears throat> you are going to have your right leg back, left elbow to your left knee, and your left back of your hand against your upper arm on the right side. And this is to keep it from going back this way or coming forward in your curl. So I want your upper arm perpendicular to the floor. Big squeeze at the top. Do not move that elbow. That left hand is there as a guide. Trying to keep it so still. You can do these standing for sure. If you can promise me that your upper arm is not gonna move. It's kind of nice to hold this static lunge while you're doing your bicep curl on the other side. 15 seconds, big squeeze. I know it's getting heavy. Three, two, one. All right. Great pinch form, I believe. Or maybe we got something stuck in there. We do. A slow three to one ratio of your tricep push up. So I'm going to start on my knees. Low impact today for me, for sure. Hands narrow. Insides of your elbows are forward so that your elbows bend backwards. All right, come into your plank. Wrists are directly underneath your shoulders. Squeeze them together as they press against your rib cage, all the way back up. Keeping your butt down and press up quick. Down three, two, one, press. Down three, two, one, press. I need you all the way down to the floor on this. Down three, two, one, and press. Keep going. You know that you can also do this against the couch, the back of the couch back of a chair, something that's not going to slide around, you can do it against the wall. If you're lucky enough to have a bar in your house, like a, like a bar, exercise bar, bar. <laughs> I'm sure you might have the other kind of bar in your house too. Three, two, one, and press. Three, two, one, press. Squeeze those elbows in. Two, one, press. Last one, two, one and press, good. Okay, I think we're to the left leg floating on this one. Single leg, inch worm with a side plank at the bottom. And then we'll go back to your bicep. 
<clears throat> so remember your tiptoe, your left tiptoe can be on the floor if you need to. Otherwise you're gonna lift that left leg up. Forward fold, walk it out to your plank. Set your plank, turn onto your side as you woo, lift the leg, come back, lift that leg up, keep it up there, come on. All the way to standing. I'm always drunk on this side, right? You guys know that by now. Forward, walk out, keep these slow. Please don't try to rush through these. It's way easier when you rush through them. All the way back in to standing. Good job. Forward. Walk it out. Now, if the side plank's too much, walk out to plank. Walk it back. All the way up. This is your game. Forward. Walk it out. Side plank. Back in. Leg up. Lift it. Come on. Up and squeeze. Squeeze that left cheek. Forward. Walk it out. Side plank. Nice job. Okay. We're on your single bicep with the left arm this time. So my left leg is back in my lunge. You can always stand here too and do your bicep curl that way. I'm gonna go down into my lunge. So my right elbow is on my right leg, right hand behind my left upper arm. Palm faces forward, squeeze and back down. Squeeze. Isn't it crazy that you can be out of breath when you're doing low impact work? If you're not rushing through your work, it's amazing what you can do for your body. Fast is good sometimes too. Working on your fast twitch muscles, your response time. Squeeze. You got 25 seconds. Good job, you guys. Let's squeeze. I woke up this morning, it's pouring rain. Just kind of nice, I gotta say. It's been so pretty lately. Loving the sunshine. I know you are too, especially when we're stuck. Not being able to go anywhere. Four, three, two, oh, one. Nice job. We're back to that slow three to one tricep push up. So come on down. Remember, progression wise, you're on your knees, you're on one knee, or you're on your toes. Okay, if you go one knee, switch it every couple. Because these are slow, I'd switch it maybe every two. All right, let's go. Elbows inside, your elbows forward. That's a biggie. All the way down, slow, and press. Down three, two, one, and press. Keep going. So here's the deal, you guys, on these. Your elbows, the insides, have to be facing forward. Because if they're not, if they're facing you, facing your body, your elbows are gonna bend out, and your hands are too narrow for that. So your shoulders are gonna be rotated inward. Your elbows are gonna be out here somewhere, screaming for help. You need to keep those insides forward so that when you bend them, you can almost block your rib cage coming down. There are yoga moves where you prop yourself there. So that's where I want you to focus on these guys. You're down to 15 seconds. Three, two, one. I know you kept the tempo. Three, two, one. Press. Three, two, one. Press. Last one, and press, good job. All right, we're on the second page. Right lunge, this is slow. We're gonna right lunge back, and then we're gonna lift it, coming forward into warrior three-ish, and then knee up, okay? So slow, make that left side work, make it stabilize everything, hold your core, seven back with the right knee, stand and lift, hinge it forward, Lift that right leg up, and then knee up to the chest. Good, step it back, lunge. Stand, lift. Find your balance. Knee up forward, do your thing. Oh, gosh, cat and dog running in here scare me to death. Forward, lift that right leg, and squeeze. So I'm starting to speed it up, that's not good. I'm gonna slow it. And knee up, use the core, use the core. Boy, this is supposed to be my good side, so I don't know what's gonna happen when we get to my, my dizzy side. Good, pull that knee forward as you come through. Try to keep your hips still. Lift, 
Hold it in and rest. Nice job. All right, shake that out. You can step side to side while we're waiting. Just 12 more seconds. We're gonna go left leg floats on this one. You can add your arms here too. Remember low impact. Make it high impact if you need it. All right, three seconds. Right leg stays on the floor. Left leg. Step it back into your lunge. Lift the leg straight behind you and then pull it through knee to the chest. Good, take your time. Don't take too big of a step backwards. Remember that proper lunge. Come through with the knee. Step back into lunge. Up, lift. Find something to focus on. My hips are a little bit, well, they're a lot of bit, um, they're not very level, I'll put it that way right now. You can feel it. Some days are just better than others, right? Knee up, step back lunge. Lift the leg. Ooh, come through. Sometimes the knees don't like it either, right? If you need to change a step, change it up. Lift, knee in and down. Okay, all right, we are on skaters. So I'm gonna slip, slip this out of the way. Our skaters are side to side. You may step these with the knee up, or excuse me, with a, with a heel to butt. Heel to butt on these, or you can quick skate them. You can also touch the floor if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging. You're here, 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 here. Low impact is here. Any little hammy is here. You pick. I'm just gonna go side, side. I'm just doing little hops, side, side. Make them as slow as you need to, or make them as quick as you need to. And pause it when you need to. That's the beauty of not having to do it live, right? Just join me, pause it when you gotta, get a phone call, take it, come back. Hopefully you'll just not answer that phone call. <sighs> Keep the workout going, because it's important. You're under 15 seconds. Make it your cardio move. Maybe it's jump roping. Maybe it's, you know, 20 seconds on the treadmill. Maybe it's running up and down the stairs once or twice. Two, one. Okay, we are on right lunge with a curtsy. <clears throat> so right leg back into your lunge. You're gonna step up and then you're gonna curtsy with the right leg as well, okay? So proper form again. Chest is up, shoulders are relaxed. All right, let's step back with the right leg first. Right leg back, knee up, curtsy. Good, knee up, right leg back. Knee up, right leg curtsy. Knee up, keep going. I'll show you from the side. There's my lunge and there's my curtsy. Here's my lunge, knee, and here's my curtsy. Knee, down, up, down. Stick that hip out to the side, your left hip. Stick it way out there. Get down as low as you feel okay with. Keeping that knee stacked over the ankle. Protecting the knee joint. You have 12 more seconds. Squeeze your butt at the top. That left cheek, really give it a good little extra something right there at the top. Curtsy. All right, we're going to the other side. Maybe, did I keep these together? Yes, I did. All right, so this time, your left leg is, is floating. Left leg back into your lunge, left leg curtsy. All right, here we go. I'm gonna face you first. Left leg up, lunge, knee up, curtsy, knee up. Let's say that it really bothers you to do a curtsy. You can stay right down here in your lunge and give me some pulses, all right? Then we need to just come up, knee, to, knee up in front. Go right back down into that lunge, pulses. And oops, I pulsed. <laughs> I can't talk and do it at the same time. Up, lunge. Up, curtsy, good. Up, lunge. Up, curtsy, you're more than halfway. Up, lunge. Nice, 
that right hip out to the side this time. Nice. Good. Down to low. Make your glutes work. Squeeze at the top. Big squeeze. All right. We are on skaters with a hop this time if you'd like to add the hop. Um, you can actually add a tuck jump. You can add a burpee thrust. Or you can keep it to just skaters and side steps. So I'm going to show you my version. Side, side. Keep it right here if you need to. And then to add a little bit more, head and knee up. Jump to the side, head and knee up. Jump, knee up. Now, can I do it with hold my balance and not putting my foot down? Let's see. If I watch myself in the video, I can't. So side, hop. Now you can step those. Step, knee. Step, knee. Okay? You can do these guys. Our little volleyball side blocks. Well, I don't know what they're called. All right, you got 25 seconds. Do what you need to do. Back when I taught classes, I thought I had to do the hardest version every single time and never stop, never give myself a break. And over the years, that totally takes a toll on your body. So whether you're teaching or whether you're just doing, you gotta give yourself a break, right? Okay, you got 20 seconds. Where our next one is a no weight renegade row for half the time and then an extended plank the other half of the time. So renegade row, there's no weight on this. All right, let's find our plank on our hands. All right, pull, down, pull. This can go slow, set, slow, set, or you can go fast. I'm not turning my feet totally on their sides. I'm keeping my plank like 45 degrees. It's gonna bring up your heart rate just a little bit. Keeping that, your hand, your fake weight next to your body, landing underneath the shoulder. You got it, 20 seconds. So that rotation, if that bothers your low back, go to a plank with like a shoulder tap. You know, switch it up that way. If you need to, you got 10 seconds. It's like you're starting a lawnmower. Pull, 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 and rest. Now I took out that extended plank because of the fact that I can't see you do this particular move and I'm a little bit nervous about putting you into that and having your low back respond. So that's why I didn't go there on that one. Um, supine, water backs, holding, we're in like tabletop. Face up, lift the chest, pull on the legs right here. So 90 degrees, we're pulling. Keep that orange underneath your chin, between your chin and your chest. Relax your shoulders down. Give yourself tension, push your legs away while you're pulling in. Just a static hold. Keep going. We're on a slow burpee next. You are under 30 seconds. In the last 20, I'm going to switch it up for you. All right. Place your thighs, excuse me, your hands on your thighs and press. Keeping the low back down. Keep the space between your chin and your chest. I'm shaking like crazy. I always do. Press, press, press. I'm pressing as hard as I can. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's amazing what <laughs> just pressing on your thighs does in that move. Um, our next one is going to be a slow burpee. So you're welcome to speed this baby up. You're welcome to add a push up if you need to. You're welcome to add jacks at the bottom or at the top, whatever it takes. Dumbbells, you choose. I'm going low impact for everybody today. So we're going to reach at the top. Let's go. Reach down, step back, step in and up. Reach down, left leg, step back, left leg, step in and up. Reach. Right leg back, right leg in, and up, left leg.
got to use, keep going. You have to use your low core to pull that knee in and to get that foot set underneath you without it dragging and without that knee sweeping out to the side, that foot going way out there around to get it up front. It's kind of like when you step over something. If you're stepping up onto something like this or if you're stepping on something like this, all right? It should be in line. All right, we have six more seconds. And rest. Good job, guys. All right, we have a right side lunge with an overhead raise. So I'm gonna take my mat out of the way again. All right, I'm holding it sideways. My right leg. Let's go right leg out. Stick your bum out, chest is up. Come all the way up, overhead. Right leg. Chest is up, lift. You do not have to do this with the weight, but it is a nice way to sculpt the shoulders and work on the core at the same time that you're working your glute and your quad. Lift, where's your core? You got it, 16. We'll go to the left side after this. Take a little break, get your water if you need it. Six more seconds. Three, two, one. When you come on, you got 20 seconds. Okay. So we're gonna left side in eight. Stepping way wide. You gotta go wide with these steps. All right, let's go. Step out wide, chest is up, come up, knee up, and raise. Body weight with your arms, or raise your weight overhead. Use two weights here, or one sideways like I have. Nice going. Lily hasn't been out here very much, she's watching. Tinky, who is a, one of my kitties you haven't seen, because he's very, very, very private. And Lily and Tinky love playing chase. I caught them the other day though, drinking out of, drinking water out of the same dish. So I know that they're buddies. They pretend that they're not. But she's over laying on the floor watching him underneath the couch. He must be taking his, I don't know, 50th nap today. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, we have flutters on our back. You can, of course, put your hands underneath your bum. Or if you can keep that low back down, put your hands across your chest. All right, here we go. Flutters. We'll go nice and slow with these guys. Again, a little impact. You can go faster. You can go smaller, down here, up here, as nicer on the back. Challenge it every now and then though, bring it down just a little bit. And if you keep the chest up, it helps you a little bit with keeping the, the low back down. Nice job, you guys. 30 seconds. We're going into single leg hip raise right after, hip raise, right after, hip raise, yay hips. We'll go up the hip raise in under 20 seconds. So I'm gonna come up here for just a moment, rest my neck. I'm gonna reset it. I'm gonna lift. I'm gonna keep that space between my chin and my chest. And I'm gonna to try to relax and make mind a muscle connection here. Thinking about my core, not my neck. And rest, okay. So single leg hip press. We are going to cross our right ankle over our left knee first to raise and lower the hips. Walk in your left heel into your bum as tight as you can. Um, let's see, so we're gonna do that side and then we'll do the other side. Then we'll stand up for arm circles, walk your left heel in, cross your right ankle and lift through the left heel. Lift through. Let's 
switch this one up. So go up, hold, down, three, two, one, up quick. Up, down, three, two, one, up, three, two, one. Just barely touching the floor at the bottom. Two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one. Lift, you can definitely have a weight on your hip on this one. Up, three, two, one, lift, three, two, one. 15 seconds, and if you have a band, I would suggest putting the band above your kneecaps and then raising your right leg up here, keeping the tension there as you do the three down and the one up, all right? So lots of changes you can do this one. Good job, all right, pull the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little back massage, pulling the knees in tight. Right heel in close to the bum, crossing your left ankle over your right knee. Oh, this is my tight side. All right, we're gonna lift it quick, down slow for three. Let's go up, down three, two, one, through the right heel. Three, two, one. Picture your butt. This is what I need you to picture. All right, not your hammy. Take it out of your hamstring. If it's into your hamstring and you're getting cramped down there, it tells me that your glutes are not awake. They're not firing. And there's lots of things that we can do to get that, that muscle to wake up. And it may, maybe it's been in a coma for a little while and you're not using it, which causes all kinds of issues, especially with low back. Lift, three, two, one. Lift, three, two, one. 20 more seconds, down. Two, one, lift, down, two, one. So when things get back to normal and classes and gyms are open back up, I highly suggest going to Kelly Reese's golf fit class at the Physical Therapy Associates on the South Hill here in Spokane. It's a hard class to get into, but it's so good for glute firing. It's an absolute must if you can get into it. Um, we're on arm circles, so come all the way up standing. We're gonna burn into the shoulders just a little bit and then back into the medial glute. We're getting down there. Got about eight left, I think. Okay, relax the shoulders down, arms out to the sides, palms down. Okay, let's go beach ball, beach ball size. Not hunching. All right, turn the palms up and backwards. Make them bigger, a little more like a small hula hoop. Keeping those shoulders down, keeping your traps down, not hunching. Now hold them out to the sides, forward, back, forward, back. Make this more challenging. You add three pounders, you add one pounders, you add two pounders, whatever it is. Whatever that number is for you. Maybe it's just arm weight and that's all good. Thumb down, thumb up, thumb down, thumb up. Hold them out to the sides, elbows behind the back, reach up into a V, reach up, reach. Keep the shoulder blades down. Three, two, one. All right, we're in fire hydrant with a straight leg. So this one looks like, I know we all love these so much. I want you to start with your left leg this time. We always start with the right. I want you to go left into your tabletop, left leg out to the side. All right, left and lower. I need the heel up, the toe down, and I want it straight out from your hip. I don't want you back, okay? I'm gonna turn sideways, keep going. All right, I don't know if I'm directly sideways to you, but up and down, up and down. Now some people have like super strong medial glutes, super strong hips, and their leg is like, well, this is about all I got. Lift and lower, lift and lower, toe down. But it's flexed, flexed means toes are pulled to the shin. Toes to the shin, heel up, toe down. Use your core. Ooh. I know you're leaning to the right, that's okay. Try to keep it centered. Good job, you got five seconds. Four, three, toe down, get it down. And one, oh. switch. And then I'll reset my timer for our last five. All right, so we're out to the side. 
and set it back in a little child's pose. Stretch that side out. Stretch the other side out. Come up into your hands and knees. Flex the foot. All right, up and down. Up and down. Why are these muscles always so tired? They're so little. They do so much, right? They help with our pelvic floor. They help with knee strength. They help with our hip strength, of course. Ooh. Do as I say, not as I do. You got 25 seconds. Come on, keep it up here. Don't let it go back here. Keep it up to the side. Keep the foot flexed. Keep the toes down. You can do this. You're stronger than your hip, I promise you. You're stronger than that voice in your head, which is telling you you're tired or that it hurts. Come on, use that muscle, feel it. Lift, I know the other one's still burning. And rest, oh. All right, set it back side to side. We have five left. Grab your water if you need it. We got five left. Okay, so our five. Begin with leg lifts on my elbows. So I'm gonna be back supine face up on my elbows. The elbows are right underneath my shoulders. Toes are pointed first. We're gonna try this legs like scissors this way. All right, you ready? Set and go. All right, on your elbows. Nice long neck, right? So your tail is tucked under. You're not arching here. Tuck it. As big or as little as you want. Put your up on your elbows. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. It's getting in there though. I say as I'm shaking like crazy. Right after this one we have we have a um, oh a strict mountain climber. I can't quite even read my handwriting. 25 seconds. Now let's say your hip flexor is bothering you. Get your brain connected with your core. Come on, focus on your core. It's gonna take it out of your hip flexors. If it's still there, try this version instead. Try this version. Think about your abs, not your hip flexors in front of the hip, right where you hinge. Four, three, tuck your tail, two, and one. Okay, all right, and we have strict mountain climbers. So I'm gonna face you guys this time. These are nice and slow. Let's see if I do this without tripping. Okay. Shoulders over the wrist. You're in plank. Step forward all the way up by your hand. And back. Forward and back. Pick up that foot. Use your low core. This takes a little bit of flexibility in the hips. And trust me, I'm not flexible in my hips. You can do this. Lift. What I don't want to see is you coming in halfway and putting pressure on your foot where all of that energy is driven out of your kneecap. Not good. If you can't quite get there, come in to the center, okay? Otherwise, pick it up, set it back. Pick it up, set it back. 20 seconds. You should feel this in your core. Nice and slow. Ten more seconds. Last five, two, and one. All right, we're standing for this next one. We have a couple left, you guys. We're in plie. Legs are wide, toes are out, so that our knees track. Bring it all down. All right. So using those inner thighs, we're gonna come down, weight in our heels, pulse, Two, one, stand, forward fold, back up, down, pulse, two, one, stand, forward fold. Now your knees are soft on the forward fold. And if this is a little too much for your back, then I don't want you to forward fold, please don't. Just keep it here with your pulses. If you wanna work a little bit more on your legs there, just stay down here like this, maybe raise your right heel. Raise it up with the calf. 
And then if you need to switch the other, well, you don't need to, you have to switch the other side because that's just weird not to be balanced, right? Standing forward, stand, plie, two, one, lift, forward, up, down, two, one, lift, forward, up, we're in beast next, two, one, up, and forward. All right, we're in peace, or excuse me, beast, and we're going to open and shut the knees a little bit. If you have a band, put it above your kneecaps. It's gonna work more of this muscle in here. Don't have a band, no worries. I'm going without band, so you can see that it's just as good. All right, in beast, you're in tabletop. Your knees are one inch off the floor. So set your shoulders open, bring those knees up an inch, and now open and shut, open and shut. Yes, it's definitely better with a band, but this is okay, this is working your legs. It's working your shoulders and it's working your core. Now, that's a little bit too much on the knees to hold beast. Then I want you to go bird dog. Left leg out, right arm out, switch. Left arm, right leg, switch. All right, back and forth on that one if you want to. If you want to go beast and tap, tap, all kinds of versions, you guys. Tap the shoulder. Try not to move your hips at all. Change it up as you need to. I'm still in beast. I'm open and shutting. I'm squeezing my butt while I'm doing it, by the way. You can just do it with momentum, but that's no good. Force your quads a little bit more. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, our last one. We're gonna go with V-ups. So you're all the way on your back, one leg at a time. We're gonna alternate these. No weights, but I want your hands separated for this. Okay, arms up overhead, tuck the tail. Tuck, 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 all right. Lift and toe touch. Lift and toe touch. Hands are separated. I love to grab my other hand because my body's telling me it's a way to cheat without me even realizing it. You get energy from the other side. And I want your hands separated. Everything is responsible for its own work. You got it, 25 seconds. So not so bad for low impact on those days that you need just to, you need to work out, but you don't need to go insane. And if you're definitely starting out, this is a great way to get started. Now, by the way, on this particular move, you can definitely go to knees bent and crunches on this one instead of your V-ups, okay? Last one. All right, and that's it. Congratulations. You finished your about 45 minutes or so of a low impact workout. If you did high impact, let me know what you did to change it up. I'm really curious. I'd love to hear ideas and it's fun to be creative. So um, share those, those moves with me if you would. And if you haven't yet, please listen to that little three minute video that I threw out there last night, which was completely out of my comfort zone, my gosh. And I get props from my daughter who told me, just do it, mom, do it, just do it. It's a good message, do it. So it's out there in the universe. And I'm thanking you for watching and doing these videos. And I'm also saying, please go out there and help somebody serve another person so that it takes your mind off of any anxiety, stress, fear that you're feeling. And if you're feeling up and super positive, then you're able to sprinkle that everywhere and we all need it. Okay, I love you guys. Let me know how you do. See ya, have a good day.